everyone, welcome back at Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. I am so excited to be out on my patio today to show you my new and improved painted patio furniture. I made a couple of benches a few years ago. I gave them an update. I built the sofa table to match. I gave that a coat of paint. I love the way they all look together. Stay tuned. I'm always amazed at how a simple coat of paint can transform a space. It can also transform a piece of furniture. It really is a game changer and I love the way this patio looks now. I was asked by my friends at the Home Depot to create a project that would feature their 2020 paint colors and the whole thing got away from me a little bit and I ended up painting a pair of benches that I made a couple years ago but I also built a matching sofa table which is what I'm going to show you today. For both the benches and the sofa table, I'm using two by fours that I trimmed down on my table saw to remove those round edges. This definitely adds a step, but the finished look is so much more polished and professional in my opinion. The legs of this table are just a basic frame that I made with my Craig jig and pocket holes. Once I had built either frame, I added two little shelves to support the tabletop and the lower table shelf. I eyeballed how far from the top and the bottom I should install these shelves. It looks to be about four inches, and I use pocket holes to connect these on either side. The basic shape of the table is a square frame for either leg and then cross beams to connect them. I'm using pine for this build, which is not ideal for outdoor furniture, but it's so cost effective. And when you stain it or paint it, in my experience, the pieces that I've made have held up pretty well. So that's what I'm working with here. For the table to provide a bit more stability and also to give us a little bit more storage, I added a shelf across the bottom. I used some scrap lumber to line up the cross beams so I could secure them to either table leg using my pocket holes. Once I had the skeleton of the table built, so I had my two end pieces, so my two legs, and then I had the cross beams, I was ready to add the tabletop and the top of the shelf. I'm using one by three common pine and attaching it across the tabletop and the lower shelf with wood glue and my brad nailer. You'll see that on either end, I had to notch out my one by three just a little bit to fit inside the legs of the table. I forgot to record the step where I used wood filler to quickly go over and fill in each of the nail holes. Before painting, I sanded the table with high grit sandpaper. I taped off my design with frog tape and then added my color. I always struggle with adding color to my outdoor spaces is it can skew a little juvenile really fast in my opinion, but I love how these colors work together. And obviously I couldn't choose which ones to use, so I ended up using about six and I painted the table and the benches with a fun color block design. The color blocking adds a bit of a graphic pattern, but it also incorporates a handful of colors. These were all the perfect springboard for the rest of the patio space. I love how my patio furniture now sort of works together. It provides obviously a lot of great seating and functionality, but it also brings in some color to a space that normally can feel a little bit neutral. And I just love it. I am so pleased with how this patio furniture works for this space. The two benches look so much lighter and brighter and fresher with the coat of paint. And this matching sofa table is just what we needed to bring the space together. Remember this cooler cover I painted earlier in the summer? I used the same colors. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you give that little bell icon a click, you will be notified when I share videos in the future. Have a great day, everyone.